Cajun chicken melt is one of my favourite snacks. It's really quick, slightly spicy, uh, you have a lovely texture from the bread and then some really nice cheese. But the star of the show for me is the spices, a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. So it's a very, very easy dish to assemble. You can have it for lunch, supper, whatever. You can get the kids involved. And I'll go through the different breads that you can use. First thing I need to do is I'm going to bake off the chicken. So this is some Simply Better corn-fed chicken. It's fed on maize. Uh, I really like this. That's why it's slightly yellow in colour. That gives wonderful flavour and succulent. And it's absolutely worth every penny. It's a really, really good product. I produced in Cavan, which is great. Okay, we're going to drizzle the chicken. So the skinless, there's no bone in this. It's a fillet of chicken with some rapeseed oil. And then we're going to put the Cajun spice onto this. So the Cajun spice goes on here. So this is Simply Better Cajun Spice. It's made from Oco. They're uh, two gentlemen, Michael and Paul. They're based in Athlone and they have the most wonderful spices. They're turmeric, they're curry powder. I've used it so many times in so many recipes. And we're gonna sprinkle this all over the chicken. Now there's a nice little bit of a kick to this. They also do a beautiful harissa spice, which is gorgeous over a full roast chicken if you want, or even over pork chops. Okay, now there's a little tip here when we're doing this. We're gonna bake this off in the oven. I already have one done. It takes about 20 minutes, but before it goes into the oven, um, take out the chicken, and by the way, it's board beer quality assured, so it is Irish chicken. A little drop of water just around the tray, not over the chicken, just around the tray, the wee dish like this. So this gives it really, really, keeps it really moist and stops the chicken from drying out. That's really important. Now, pop that into the oven, preheat your oven at 180, and that will take anything from 18 to 20 minutes. How you know it's cooked when it's firm to the touch this thicker part here. So you can see that lovely colour, you can see the water, a little bit of rapeseed oil, you can put salt and pepper on that if you wanted to. Now after 20 minutes what I do is take it out, let it go cool and this is it here. So this is the chicken, this is already um, cooked. If you've left over roast chicken you can sprinkle some spices and just quickly under the grill. It's just really to cook out the spices but trust me the water is the tip for this. Uh, recipe. Okay, so we're going to, before I slice the chicken, I'll show it to you in a moment, we're going to do a little bit of sweet chilli mayonnaise, so just some regular mayonnaise, and this is some of the sweet chilli sauce from Simply Better, okay? Um, okay, it's made by an Irish company called Full On Foods, they're based in the Kerry uh, Cork border, so a nice little drizzle of this goes in here. This is great in stir fries, I really, really like it. Mix this all together, it's so simple this. I'm going to mix that all together. So this mayonnaise is lovely for making wraps for your children. This chicken done in a wrap with maybe some iceberg salad. It works really, really well. That mayonnaise will keep for a few days. Your chicken, you can have it pre-done and that will keep happily um, in the fridge in an airtight container. So what bread? I'm using some Gia battle bread. I'm just going to cut it with a serrated edge knife. But you could use the likes of pita bread. You could use sourdough. You could use little pizzas. So whatever you like, whatever you want to use, you can make these little Cajun chicken melts as you wish. Okay, so let's bring these over here. Now, cut them in half, parchment paper, nothing will stick. That's the beautiful thing about this. It's a great paper for cooking with and baking with. So a nice little smear and be generous with the mayonnaise because this is gonna give it lovely, give, keep it really moist and it's delicious. So full fat mayonnaise, and then we have also our nice sweet chilli sauce in that. You could put pesto in that, you could put a hot chilli sauce. You can do it as you wish. I'm going to move that out of the way here. So next thing is our chicken. So I'm going to lift off the chicken. And using the same knife, we're just going to slice it. So I just want to show you how moist it is. Nice and uh, tender. Cut it not, not too uh, thin and not too thick. So it's really, really moist and succulent. And that's the water because there's no fat in this chicken. It's skinless chicken breast, so it will dry out if you don't use the water. You can use stock, I use water, it's fine. But the spices are just delicious, they really are. They're as good as I've tasted, these guys are fab. So I had the pleasure of going up to meet them last year in Athlone, and just, they're all organic, they're just, um, they're just two great guys. You know, the Spice Girls, well they're known as the Spice Boys. So we're just overlapping our chicken here. So we've sliced it, it's really, really moist. Same for this here. So build it up. Make sure you fill it with that nice sliced chicken there. Push it down if it goes like that. Just open it out. Just kind of press it down a little bit. And even this in a salad is so good, honestly. Don't be, t just pack it up there. I want to use all this chicken as much as possible. Gorgeous. Okay, now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our lovely cheese. 
So this is the Dreen, a simply better cheddar cheese. So this is a really interesting uh, project. And um, this has matured for over a year. It was a project Kevin Sherton from Sherton's Cheese. It was his brain with. So the milk for this cheese comes from a single farm in West Cork. So I got to meet the family and the producers and meeting them and their passion. You know we've great milk in Ireland, but the cheese is directly from the Drina, which is the peninsula in West Cork, and it's a really good. So we had the pleasure of going down to Bandon, tasting it, great, and it, all that. It was a lot of fun, very educational for me, to be honest with you. So you get it uh, as a block, uh, grated or sliced. So all I've done is just grate it. We're gonna put this on top. Plenty of this. So this is an everyday cooking cheddar, I call this. It's delicious, so it is. Now plenty of that. Okay. We're gonna jazz it up a little bit. We're gonna use this. This is a hot chili sauce, Sriracha, and it's from Thai Gold, so it is. Thai Gold, they're a company based in Wexford, and they have the most beautiful coconut milk, uh, organic spices, Thai curry paste, all that. I really, really like their products, and their rice is second to none. So a nice drizzle of that. And it's a small little bottle, lovely in stir fries again, or you can use the sweet chili sauce. As you want it, you make it as you want. Now, a nice little drizzle. A pesto, and this is just some shop bought pesto. We make our own in the restaurant. So basil, toasted pine nuts, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then what we do is we put in some garlic and uh, toasted pine nuts, olive oil, salt, and of course, lots of basil. So that's it ready there to go. So you can have this ready in the fridge, take it out into the oven, 180, and it's gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna move this out of here. And I'm gonna show you, I already have one done in the oven. So this took about 12 minutes. So the cheese melts. Look at that. You can see the sweet chili sauce. You can see the pesto. It is hot, so it's only have to come out of the oven. So I'm just gonna leave that there just for a moment so it is hot. But I wanna show you a really quick salad dressing. Um, vinaigrette. So we're gonna use some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna make plenty of this and you're always well, well off to make um, extra. So you usually use two to three parts oil to one part vinegar. So we're using some extra virgin olive oil and then we're using some rapeseed oil. Okay, so that goes in there. We're gonna put in for a little bit of sweetness, some honey. So this is from the Leaven Foods, they're based in Kilkenny. Just a drizzle. Some mustard, mustard I like, I don't love it. This is some Dijon mustard, but it works really well in this salad dressing. And then some balsamic vinegar. Now you can use red wine vinegar, cider vinegar, but it's usually two to three parts of um, oil, it's always maybe two, three times the amount of oil to vinegar. So that's our balsamic vinegar, okay? And then a really good tip for you is just a tiny little bit of water in here. So we're gonna just blend this. You can do it in a neutral bullet. I just wanted to use my little stick blender. Mix this all together. And this will keep for weeks and weeks and weeks. So hand blending it, put a little lid on it, keep it in your fridge. It'll always separate, so give it a little mix. That's all you need to do, and then we're gonna serve up. So I'm just gonna get my plate. We're gonna serve some nice salad with our Cajun melt. I'll just get my fish slice here. So lifting off the Cajun chicken, and you can see the way the cheese is melted, the sweet chili sauce, the pesto there. So we're gonna serve two of these, so why not? One is not enough. And the bread is lovely and crispy. You can do it on a baguette bread, whatever you want, uh, sourdough, lots of different breads. So, nice little kind of like arrangement of salad, toasted pine nuts, and then I'm gonna get a spoon and we're gonna drizzle them for salad dressing. Always dress your salad at the last minute. And I think this is a really quick, delicious recipe. The key is good chicken, spices, nice bread, it's so tasty. And that is my Cajun chicken melt with a nice little uh, green salad, toasted pine nuts. So I hope you enjoy this. I think your children will love this. Um, it goes into the oven, 180, for roughly about maybe 10 to 12 minutes. So give this a go. I think you'll enjoy it. Happy cooking. Stay safe.